gotten strong at this last week. We've been kind of working for you out there. Um, yeah, we kind of strung together a couple wins. Um, we're playing good team basketball, moving the ball, uh, playing off each other's strengths. And kind of did a better job of defensively last. Not, not this game in the second half, but the last couple of years for sure. Where's the comfort level come from, Kelly? Comfort level for what? Uh, you know, you say, you know, you guys have been playing better. And, and oh, you, I, where does that comfort, you know, start? Yeah, I mean, it's kind of one of those things where, you know, once you get that confidence, it just starts to grow. Um, you know, as a team, once, you know, you see some things clicking, some things working, um, you know, it's kind of contagious, uh, whether it be defensively or offensively. So, you know, anytime you can have success, uh, it, you know, it's a good thing. <laughs> Are you feeling more assertive out on the court? It looks like you're you're, you're feeling more assertive and, and looking for your your shots and, and for your positions to score that out there. Uh, yeah, definitely trying to be aggressive, um, you know, trying to open some things up for some other guys and, you know, just take advantage of stuff in there. Do you think you personally play better when you have more minutes, like over 30 minutes a game? I mean, <laughs> that's kind of a redundant question because there's not a lot you can do in 10 seconds <laughs> rather than 30 minutes. Well, instead of like 15 minutes or something like that. I mean, the thing with minutes is the more you play, the, the more opportunities you're going to have. I mean, sometimes you're going to get four rebounds in a minute and a half. Other times you're going to go six, seven minutes without a rebound or without a, you know, an opening. And it, it all depends who you play and, and what you play. Sometimes you can have fantastic numbers in 15 minutes. Sometimes... Your production of 15 minutes won't change when you add 10 more minutes because you know, all the opportunities came in the first 15. So, um, you know, it's tough, and you just got to make the most of the time you're out there and you know, do whatever you can, uh, you know, at team level to help the team be successful. Talk about like Friday and what you're anticipating you have that going on Friday with the game. Um, you know, I don't, I don't know a lot to tell you the truth. All I know is we're playing in the, in the Rise of Stars game. Um, so. I guess as good as yours, I guess. I mean, I, I haven't seen, I don't I don't know too much about it, but we'll probably see more when we get down there. What would you say is the biggest learning curve in, the, in your first half of your first NBA season? Um, I don't know. I, I would say it's tough to narrow it down to just one thing. You know, there's a lot of stuff you learn. Uh, you know, being a professional in the first place. Um, other than that, you know, the speed, athleticism is just so much higher. Uh, you know, you got to, Kind of, you gotta not speed up, but you gotta do everything at a faster pace out there. Do you feel like the game is slowing down for you as you get more comfortable? Uh, yeah, I think you're just comfortable. And I don't know if it's slowing down, but you're just acclimated to the speed more.